Hello everyone, my name is Creative and welcome to my new YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to hyperlink your digital assets using Spatial.io. In today's exercise, we're gonna be hyperlinking two digital assets that are gonna be linking to our OpenSea collection and our contact form for lead generations. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select our image that we want to hyperlink. I'm just gonna place it on this wall. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit for myself. And one thing that you're gonna see is that when you start selecting on your assets, you're not gonna see a bottom toggle navigation uh, bar. And there's a new feature that's gonna be called info. You're gonna go ahead and select that. And on the right hand side, you're gonna get a new panel. This is called the information panel. And there's a couple of variables, fields that are going to be in here for you to fill out. The first one is the name of the actual image, the name of the creator, a description, a hyperlink to where you want it to go to. And you're going to have a toggle to show the plaque here on, on the bottom. Um, and we're actually going to fill this in real quick. What I want to do is I want to hyperlink this image to my NFT OpenSea collection. I'm gonna actually just change the name of this to say Moonlight Owls Collection. The artist is myself, so I'm gonna do Creative Owls. The description I'm going to pick is Moonlight Owls is a limited collection individually designed 50 items, all one of one. And the hyperlink, this is gonna to go to my OpenSea account. So I already have that ready to go. I'm gonna hit Control V. You already see the toggle is on. If you turn it off, you're not gonna see that. I suggest for user experience as people are walking in your metaverse, letting know that artwork is clickable, leave it on. It's gonna be a plus. You're gonna hit save and I'm gonna just test this out. And the way that I'm gonna test it out is two ways. So the first way is I'm actually gonna select on the big plus button. I'm gonna see the name, which is correct, which is the Moonlight Owl collection, the description, artist name, which I put in, which is myself, Creative Owls. And by selecting this, it's gonna open up a modal where it's gonna say, are you sure you want to leave spatial.io? And it's gonna show you where you're gonna be getting directed to. So yes, let's go. So we're gonna test it out. Perfect, it's going right to my collection. I see my collection, I see the page being loaded. I'm gonna go back again and I'm close this out. I'm gonna hit view here again. And it's gonna say, do I wanna go? Yes. And that's how I test it out. The second part, now we actually want to hyperlink, but we wanna hyperlink not to a OpenSea NFT collection, but a contact form. So we're going to hit select. We're going to import the digital asset and this is a business card and this is something I encourage you guys to create if you guys are in the metaverse if you guys are creating if you're artists is to create a digital business card and hyperlink it to your website but for right now we're gonna hyperlink this to a contact form so again select the image select a new feature called info what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the name of this image to be called contact me so you see it at the bottom and i'm going to write a short description allowing people saying thanks for checking out my metaverse if you'd like to connect please complete the contact form and follow the link and the link i'm going to direct them to is a google form so i'm going to import the link google form i'm going to hit select save and then again we're going to go through the process Hit plus, contact me, hit view, let's go. And then it takes me to my form. And I suggest you guys definitely testing out uh, this feature as you guys hyperlink, you might copy and paste incorrectly. So definitely test that out. This actually works with other 3D objects that you can actually grab. So again, you can just hyperlink your digital assets, select info, add the description, and uh, you're good to go. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.